following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Women's Championship. It is time for our first of five. Yes, five. I've been saying six all night long. Five championship matches here at the Royal Rumble. Nonetheless, the WWE Women's Championship is on the line here in Las Vegas. Representing the red brand, the number one contender, Liv Morgan, who last summer had a very short run with the Women's Championship herself and really has been trying to get back to this spot ever since. Liv Morgan went down with a undisclosed injury back in the fall, but burst on the scene once more last month on Raw. She has picked up victories over Tiffany Stratton and her alongside Natalia, picking up a huge tag team victory over Blair Davenport and the champion herself, Rhea Ripley, just a number of weeks ago. Liv looked in the eyes of the Eradicator this past Monday night on Raw sent a staring message that she was coming for the Women's Championship this Sunday. But can she get the job done here tonight when the lights are on bright and the gold's on the line? And that is an intimidating presence that is getting ready to make her way down the aisle. The Eradicator, the Nightmare, representing the Judgment Day and most importantly, the WWE Women's Champion, Rhea Ripley. As voted by you, the fans, the 2023 Women's Superstar of the Year. Ripley won Money in the Bank back in July, cashed it in successfully in September, and has steamrolled over the competition ever since. Picking up victories over Shayna Baszler upon that Money in the Bank cash in going on to defend her title against Becky Lynch, once in Principality Stadium, the other in Madison Square Garden in an Extreme Rules match. And just last month at Armageddon, Rhea turning away, one of the hottest newcomers to the red brand in Alba Fire. Now Liv Morgan looks to test her medal against the oh-so-dominating and intimidating champion. Rhea Ripley, word has it, going around the backstage area, and she's looking to make an example out of the number one contender here tonight. That is easier said than done. Liv Morgan willing to fight that uphill battle. She was able to obtain that very championship last year. Can she repeat history in 2024? Introducing the challenger from Elmwood Park, New Jersey, Liv And her opponent from Adelaide, Australia, she is the WWE Women's Champion, Rhea Ripley. Well, we talked about that tag team victory recently on Raw between Liv Morgan and Natalya taking down Blair Davenport and the Nightmare herself. Well, Rhea, Rip Rhea Ripley corrected that wrong just six nights ago with an emphatic victory over the Queen of Hearts. And if Rhea Ripley didn't send a message on that night, I don't know what will. Liv Morgan knows she's in for a fight. Rhea Ripley as dominant as ever. The bell has sounded and now is the time to succeed. The Women's Championship is on the line. Who is the better woman of Monday Night Raw? Rhea Ripley looking to bring her presence and absolutely dominate over Liv Morgan in the early going. Obviously, it's got the strength and size advantage in this matchup. Liv Morgan's got a stick and move, in my personal opinion. Look at Rhea ever since the opening bell. Not even a minute ago, is all over the number one contender. Rhea Ripley has dominated a lot of the Raw Women's Division, whether it's been championship matches or non-title affairs over the last year. There is a reason she is on top of Monday nights. Can Liv Morgan be the kryptonite to Superwoman's championship reign? Liv taking a minute to create some distance on the outside. Rhea, however, well, sends her into the ropes. Liv, look at this. Big time DDT spiking her on the crown of her head. And now Liv Morgan, with the boots, tilt to whirl, takes the champion down. 
Liv Morgan has got to do her best. Trying to stick, move, and keep down the champion. And cannot take her eye off the ball like she just did moments ago. Rhea Ripley is looking to make a statement tonight. The first live premiere event of 2024. The road to WrestleMania kicking off. Rhea looking to remind the entire women's division, not just on Raw, but in all of WWE, that there is only one queen of the queendom, and that is the Eradicator. Just absolutely women handling Liv over the top rope that time. There's also the test in this matchup as to what, whether Rhea Ripley is really taking Liv Morgan seriously or not. Liv's a former champion, but that did not last long. You gotta call it what it is. Liv was able to take down Asuka last May and become the women's champion four weeks later. Was tapped out by Shayna Baszler in the middle of Philadelphia. And Liv has been unable to obtain the championship once more ever since, so will tonight be the night? Or is Rhea Ripley just gonna con continue to have her way over the number one contender? Again, as we we're about to mention, Rhea Ripley cannot take the opponent lightly, however. She just sends her right to those diamond-plated steps. I'll tell you what, if this continues, this is going to be a historic win for Rhea Ripley. And she literally is steamrolling over the competition right now. Liv Morgan has got little to no offense in since the opening bell a few minutes ago. And Rhea is just making an example. Ragdolling Liv at ringside, casually making her way back into the ring. It's a picnic on Sunday afternoon. And now into the cover once more. Rhea to retain the championship. Liv is still into this. She cannot discount the heart of Liv Morgan. She has scratched and clawed her way back to number one contendership. Victories over Blair Davenport, Tiffany Stratton. She has gone to war, win, lose, or draw with Asuka and Shayna Baszler, Becky Lynch over the last year. Can she keep down Rhea tonight? Now you gotta pull the hair a little bit, take her down to the canvas, do what you gotta do. Here comes Liv, house of fire this time, trying to take down the nightmare of the Judgment Day. Starting to build some momentum. Can she capitalize on it? Goes for the kick. And Rhea Ripley closing the window on that opportunity. And Liv was going for that tilt to whirl again. Rhea nowhere to be found. And a big time German suplex takes down the challenger. Just like that, Liv Morgan's momentum squandered in a matter of moments by the champion. Rhea Ripley hell bent on domination tonight in Las Vegas. Back into the cover to retain the title and Liv some great ring awareness that time, only using enough energy. She has to extend to reach out and grab the ropes. I don't know what it's gonna take. I mean, Liv Morgan obviously did her homework on Rhea Ripley, but at the end of the day, when you're in the ring with somebody who is as physically dominating as the Nightmare, all bets are off, plans go out the window, and you are in for the fight of your life. That is why Rhea was Mrs. Money in the Bank. That is why she cashed in successfully, why she's defended it successfully ever since, and why she was recognized as the 2023 Women's Superstar of the Year. And back to the outside we go, and I do not think this is where Liv Morgan needs to be right now. Just trying to create some distance, get Rhea off her tail for a moment, but Rhea's having none of it. Again into the barricade. Oh, not, bam, ragdoll on her. Liv is out. Her tank is running on E, and we are only a few minutes into this contest. A few minutes might feel like an eternity when you're in there with the Eradicator. Liv Morgan's tank clearly starting to run on E. Fatigue is dwindling, and Liv Morgan eats the canvas once more. Back into the cover we go. Live with a kick out, but how much is realistically left? Let me rephrase what I said moments ago. Endurance quickly dwindling in Liv Morgan and fatigue starting to set in. Back into the corner and Liv doesn't even have enough strength to keep her standing upright. Rhea Ripley, oh wait a minute, there you go. The challenger knocks the champion off her feet. Rhea's still swinging. What do you gotta do just to keep some damage on this woman? 
feels like a boss fight at the end of a difficulty video game for Liv Morgan tonight as she tries to rally. Las Vegas behind her, takes down the champion once more. Liv has not been on the receiving end of a lot of good grace in this match. She has been on the receiving end of a beatdown. Can she mount a comeback here and find the will within her to become the women's champion? Up into the ropes, Rhea Ripley might have her bell rung off that little bit of offense by the challenger. Liv's gotta keep the foot on the gas pedal the best of her abilities. Obviously, it's gotta be hurt and it's gotta be feeling fatigue. But the former women's champion has fought long and hard to get this opportunity, not looking to see it go to the wayside tonight. And a kick out only at one. Maria Ripley's got a lot left in the tank, and that is not good for Liv Morgan, who just gets absolutely slashed from behind with a mean lariat by the champion. And back into the corner again, and the story continues to repeat itself. Domination from the women's champion. Rhea Ripley is out to make a statement tonight. Out to prove her dominance. Why she sits at the top of the throne. Liv Morgan, no matter how much she tries to mount a comeback in this match, she just, she just cannot get some sustained momentum. There she goes again. She's trying to create that distance. Get herself in the driver's seat. Rhea Ripley with other plans. Rhea Ripley is coming in at the top of her game tonight, no doubt about it. Rhea's really starting to take the life out of this Las Vegas crowd with every shot to Liv Morgan. And as she soaks in the booze from T-Mobile Arena, I think it just fuels Rhea Ripley that much more to just continue this beatdown on the fan favorite and Liv Morgan. Kick to the gut. Oh, wait a minute. Down goes Liv with a rip tide. Into the cover. And that's it. That is it. Rhea Ripley just made the statement that she came to Sin City to make. Liv Morgan scratched and clawed to become the number one contender. It did not matter to the nightmare here tonight. Here is your winner, and still WWE Women's Champion, Rhea Ripley. That was one of the most lopsided performances I have ever seen inside of the squared circle. Rhea Ripley, pure domination here at the Rumble. The eradicator of the Judgment Day keeps the championship over her shoulder. Another victory for the ever-dominating 2023 Women's Superstar of the Year, Rhea Ripley. WrestleMania Saturday set to continue as the WWE Women's Championship from Monday Night Raw is on the line. Liv Morgan, the number one contender, contests for the gold against the champion, the Eradicator, the Nightmare, Rhea Ripley. This is a story that began back on January the 7th at the Royal Rumble when Liv Morgan contested for the gold the first time around against Rhea Ripley herself. And unfortunately for Liv, she ended up going down on that night as just a stepping stone in the legacy of the Eradicator. Rhea Ripley with her most dominating performance yet in her championship reign, one that excelled her to retaining the gold. Rhea moved on to the Elimination Chamber where she defended that very championship against the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka. 
forced to adapt or perish. Rhea Ripley pulled out some new maneuvers in her arsenal and was able to withstand the offense of the Empress of Tomorrow. It was unfortunately a short-lived celebration for Rhea Ripley as Liv Morgan emerged for the first time since the Royal Rumble and staked her claim that their story was far from over. Liv Morgan then moved on to make her way through a fatal five-way elimination matchup on Monday Night Raw to claim number one contendership for one more go-around with the Nightmare. And then we take you back to Monday Night Raw this past week where Rhea Ripley, yet another dominant performance in a non-title bout against the unholy Alba Fire. After the matchup, laying out Alba at ringside with yet another riptide, but then was meant face-to-face -face with her WrestleMania Saturday opposer, Liv Morgan, sending a message that their story is far from over. And tonight, Liv Morgan bounces back and refuses to be a stepping stone in the legacy of the Nightmare. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Women's Championship. It is truly now or never for Liv Morgan. As the eyes of the world look upon WrestleMania, Liv Morgan needs to capitalize on this number one contendership or championship opportunities may be dismissed for Liv Morgan. You saw the highlights from the Royal Rumble. And if you watched the matchup back on January the 7th, you saw firsthand how dominating Rhea Ripley's performance on that night was. That is a loss that Liv Morgan has not sat in well with. A former WWE Women's Champion in her own right less than a year ago on Monday Night Raw. Liv Morgan is looking for her road to the championship glory to conclude once more here tonight to leave WrestleMania Saturday with the gold. But the atmosphere just changes when the Nightmare, the Eradicator, the WWE Women's Champion arrives on the scene. The 2023 Women's Money in the Bank winner cashed it in successfully and has now held that championship for 168 days. You were looking at the brutality of Rhea Bloody Ripley. Rhea Ripley has successfully defended that gold against the man Becky Lynch, against Alba Fire, against Liv Morgan, against Asuka, and those wins are not even including the victories that Rhea Ripley has raked up on Monday Night Raw in non-title matches over the last year since the formation of the Judgment Day. But I will tell you this, how is the psyche of the nightmare affected knowing that championship have already been eradicated from the Judgment Day itself here tonight at WrestleMania. The Usos taking away the World Tag Team titles from Damian Priest and Finn Balor. And as Balor and Priest return to the Judgment Day locker room, did it dawn upon Rhea Ripley that tonight may be the night that all the championships are absolutely on their expiration date from the black and purple brand. Introducing the challenger from Elmwood Park, New Jersey, Liv Morgan! And her opponent from Adelaide, Australia, she is the WWE Women's Champion, Rhea Well, here we go. A certain aura taking over AT&T Stadium as your co-main event of WrestleMania Saturday takes center stage. From Monday Night Raw, the WWE Women's Championship is on the line. The number one contender, Liv Morgan, and the woman who has held the title for 168 days, 
Rhea Ripley. The bell has sounded and the Royal Rumble rematch is underway. And immediately out of the gate, Rhea Ripley looking to repeat history from January the 7th. Rhea ran over Liv Morgan like a ton of bricks at the Royal Rumble in Las Vegas. Liv has not forgotten. She has thought about it every night since. Tonight is put up or shut up. Bury the ghosts of the past or live with them forever. Rhea Ripley looking to turn away Liv Morgan for good. And you see Rhea hot out of the gate just picking up really right where she left off back on January the 7th. Just running over Liv Morgan, full head of steam, not giving her any room to breathe, is the Eradicator. Rhea Ripley, pound for pound, one of the strongest, one of the most dominant women in WWE history. Dare I say the most complete woman superstar in the industry today. Take nothing away from the attitude of the Judgment Day. He looks strictly at the talents. Rhea has got it all. But Liv Morgan knows what it takes to get to the top of the mountain. It was May of 2023, the 14th of the month to be exact, at Vengeance last year, where Liv Morgan defeated Asuka to win the WWE Women's Championship. And I'll bite. It was a short-lived reign for Liv Morgan, upwards of only four weeks, but a champion nonetheless. Ever since then, Liv Morgan has been trying to regain championship gold. And she may have just done so that time. Quick pinfall attempt there. Liv Morgan off the spin kick. Finally getting some offense in this match. Going to take a lot more to keep down Rhea Ripley. Liv Morgan has fought through a lot over the last year. Not only losing the WWE Women's Championship last summer. Back in London, England in October. Liv Morgan went down with an undisclosed injury. Did not resurface for a couple of months until she earned number one contendership to the Royal Rumble. We saw how that went. Ever since then, Liv has been hot on the pursuit of another matchup with Rhea Ripley. She earned it fair and square. It was not an easy task on Monday Night Raw. Turning away Asuka, Tiffany Stratton, Becky Lynch, and ultimately Roxanne Perez in the final few moments to win the Fatal Five Way and earn this match tonight at WrestleMania Saturday. So now or never to make the most advantage of it but Rhea Ripley looking to take the life out of Liv Morgan. Stomp out the heart, squash the championship desires, send her to the back of the line for good. Look at the strength of Rhea Ripley, something that has brought her great dividends throughout her championship reign. 2023 Women's Superstar of the Year as voted by you, the fans. The nightmare herself, and certainly for good reason. Defeated the Queen of Spades, Shayna Baszler, another dominant woman here in the WWE. Back at no mercy 168 days ago when she cashed in the Money in the Bank briefcase. Rhea Ripley has defended that title in Principality Stadium, Cardiff, Wales, at Clash of the Castle. Madison Square Garden in New York City, an extreme rules matchup against Becky Lynch. Rhea's fought some of the best under the highest circumstances. Can she get through Liv Morgan once more here tonight at WrestleMania? Rhea obviously the favorite going into this matchup, but not if she makes overzealous mistakes like that. Liv Morgan saw it coming from a mile away. Rhea crashing and burning, and Liv takes advantage. You know, one thing that's very interesting coming into this matchup is Rhea Ripley and her history in matchups against Liv Morgan. Is Rhea so confident in her pursuit that she can defeat Liv Morgan, that she's underestimating the challenger tonight? If that is the case, Rhea may be doing herself a disservice. A misstep moments ago, but Rhea looking to take advantage. Never mind, Liv Morgan powering through, and never mind about that. Man, it is so hard to keep down Rhea Ripley. One of those few superstars, whether it be on Raw or SmackDown, where you'll hear us say, it's one thing to knock them down, it's a whole other thing to keep them there. Rhea's up, where, up there with that handful that's just so hard to defeat. It's so hard to just knock down a few sizes inside of that ring. Liv Morgan, we will bite, giving this fight her all tonight and trying her best 
to withstand the punishment of the Eradicator. Liv Morgan knows that championship opportunities do not come around every day. Wins and losses matter, and Liv absolutely earned this matchup tonight. But another loss to Rhea Ripley has got to send Liv Morgan to the farthest spot in the back of the line when it comes to contendership. Now or never is the tagline for Liv Morgan tonight. Trying to unload on Rhea Ripley with any offense she can get her hands on. Rhea may be a little bit rocked as Liv Morgan once again sending Rhea to the outside and Liv Morgan may be looking to use her surroundings to her advantage tonight. Any advantage Liv can take, she's going to have to bite in this matchup. And it looks like Liv Morgan is the one successful off the high-risk maneuvers this go-around. Over the top rope, Liv Morgan will the risk it all. Sending the champion inside of the ring. Do we have a new champion here at WrestleMania? Not just yet, Rhea Ripley with the kick out. Liv Morgan... Gave it her all at the Royal Rumble, but it was still not enough. Rhea Ripley ran over her on that night. And with that headbutt, history about to be repeated. Maybe not. Maybe not. Liv Morgan surviving, but for how much longer? Nice sidestep. Liv stacking her up. Gonna steal the title, not just yet. And Liv Morgan, all kinds of fired up here at WrestleMania. Able to withstand that mean headbutt moments ago, but for how much longer? Rhea once again sent to the outside. Spent a good portion of this match on the outskirts of the ring. Maybe a part of Liv Morgan's blueprint here tonight, but I don't care if it's inside the ring, outside of the ring. Rhea Ripley dangerous all around the globe. And we talked about moments before the bell sounded, if Rhea Ripley's confidence was rocked, if Rhea Ripley's psyche was thrown off, that Finn Balor and Damian Priest lost the World Tag Team titles tonight, and that very well could be the case. Or it could be a confidence booster, or maybe just a ability to drive Rhea Ripley, if you want to call it that. Rhea could be using it as motivation not to see the same result. Off the top. Women's Championship to be retained. Not just yet, Liv Morgan still in this matchup. Rhea with a kick to the gut. And if she hits this, it could be all she wrote. Rip tied. It ended it at the Royal Rumble. And it's gonna, not just yet, end it tonight. Liv Morgan finding it somehow deep inside of her to kick out of the rip time. The maneuver that put the nail in her coffin back on January the 7th in Las Vegas, Nevada. Liv able to survive, trying her best to thrive. Rhea Ripley throwing her best shot. Liv Morgan's got to find a way. Kicking out of the rip tide is one thing. Taking advantage of a disheveled Rhea Ripley is another. Remember what we talked about last month at the Elimination Chamber, Rhea Ripley forced to adapt and find ways to win against the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka. Ended up tapping out Asuka on that night. Will she do the same to Liv Morgan? Look at the strength once again being displayed. Who is gonna get the upper hand? These two women jockeying for position. Liv Morgan hits the ropes. Code breaker! Will that do it to win the title? Not just yet, Rhea Ripley gets the shoulder up and another close call for tonight's challenger. Liv Morgan throwing one of her best shots now as she sends Rhea Ripley into the corner. Liv full head of steam. Knocks Rhea down to size. Double boots to the jaw. Gotta commend the effort of Liv Morgan. Win, lose, or draw tonight. She is throwing everything in the kitchen sink at the women's champion. But will it be enough? Many have tried, many have failed. Rhea has been untouchable for the better part of a year. 160 days as champion. 168 at that, but Liv Morgan taking a page out of Sami Zayn's book from the top of WrestleMania. 
off the Frankensteiner. Opposite corner, massive splash. Dead center of the ring to win the title. Liv Morgan's gotta be scratching and clawing in the middle of her mind, wondering what it's gonna take to keep down the Eradicator. Liv Morgan thought she had it off the combination from the sky. Unfortunately, not to be, as Rhea Ripley is still alive. Oh man, mean shot, nothing fancy about it. On the shoulders, face first. And that may be all she wrote. Will Rhea Ripley retain the title, not just yet. Liv somehow, some way, still in this match. And wait a minute here. This is the same submission that tapped out Asuka back in Miami, Florida, all those weeks ago at the Elimination Chamber. Rhea Ripley, submission hold. Liv Morgan tied up. Rhea has thrown some of her best offense. Forced to adapt once again. Will this leg lock? Squash Liv Morgan's dreams of being WWE Women's Champion here at WrestleMania. Liv, ever resilient, rolls out from under. And another shot to Rhea Ripley. Rolled out from underneath that submission. Creating some separation this time. Back on top, Liv going back to the well with what works. Frankensteiner does her justice once more. Dallas, Texas, in great appreciation for your co-main event of WrestleMania Saturday. So much more action to come 24 hours from tonight when we are live once again at 5 p.m. Eastern time for the season finale, the grand finale, WrestleMania Sunday. But tonight, it's Liv Morgan, it's Rhea Ripley. The WWE Women's title hangs in the balance. Rhea Ripley. May have been taking Liv Morgan lightly tonight. May not have been expecting this fight. Rhea has thrown her best offense. All the maneuvers that have put away names like Becky Lynch and Asuka have not worked tonight against Liv Morgan. Into the ropes she goes. Rhea Ripley just ragged on the challenger. Look at that agility, especially in championship rounds. You gotta be impressed with Rhea bloody Ripley. Rhea now full head of steam, nobody home. Might have been a misstep, Oblivion! Liv Morgan by the corner. A misstep by Rhea Ripley, and it cost her the Women's Championship. Rhea Ripley ran full head of steam to a game Liv Morgan. Liv caught her off guard, and Oblivion out of nowhere, and Rhea Ripley's championship reign has now been sent into the Oblivion as Liv has conquered the nightmare. Here is your winner, and new WWE Women's Champion, Liv a 169th day in Rhea Ripley's championship reign was not to be. Liv Morgan challenged herself to fight the ghost of her past, and she came out on the other side. Royal Rumble is a distant memory as Liv Morgan creates new history tonight, walking into WrestleMania and eradicating the Eradicator herself, Liv Morgan, the new Women's Champion. Can't get enough universe mode? Well, now is your chance to secure a backstage pass to more universe than ever before. Become a Noah Nation Gaming Channel member and gain entry into monthly house shows that directly affect your episodic viewing of universe mode. Also, take a peek behind the curtain with behind the scenes updates, exclusive content to see how universe mode is brought to life each and every week. Hit the join button down below, become a Backstage Pass channel member, and get your front row seat to more universe than ever before.
Coming up next, it is the WrestleMania rematch, or shall I say the trilogy fight for the WWE Women's Championship as Liv Morgan puts the gold on the line against the 2023 Women's Superstar of the Year, the Judgment Day's own Eradicator, Rhea Ripley. A trilogy fight that has been looming all throughout 2024 so far. It's a story that started back on January the 7th in Las Vegas at the Royal Rumble. During Rhea Ripley's reign with the WWE Women's Championship, she ran over her challenger, that being Liv Morgan on that night. A dominating performance for the Nightmare and an embarrassing loss for Liv Morgan. But credit where credit's due, Liv Morgan did not take it lying down. She got herself up. She dusted herself off, earned number one contendership, survived the best Rhea Ripley had to offer, and brought the fight to the nightmare at WrestleMania to win the gold. Liv Morgan has been the centerfold of the women's division all the while Rhea Ripley has been making her waves on the red brand, tearing apart anybody who she believes has been in her way back to the top. Rhea Ripley's got one goal in mind, rule upon the women's division with an iron fist once more. This trilogy fight, the chance to do so. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. That is for the WWE Women's Liker, lover, or hater, nobody can deny the results of the Eradicator, the Nightmare, Rhea Bloody Ripley, as she walks into this trilogy fight with gold on the mind. That is one scary sight. A looming presence, ominous as ever that Liv Morgan has not been very welcoming to. Liv has been champion for just over two months. WrestleMania, back in March, when she took down Rhea Ripley at WrestleMania, she has defended the championship. Only one since, taking down Tiffany Stratton in San Juan, Puerto Rico last month at Backlash. But ever since Rhea Ripley's return to action, she has been causing chaos that has been making her grin from ear to ear on Monday Night Raw. Cora Jade, Tiffany Stratton, Katana Chance, Bianca Belair have all felt the wrath of the Eradicator. Liv Morgan has felt it firsthand more than one occasion. But tonight is where it counts. The Judgment Day already bringing back the World Tag Team titles to their clubhouse. Is Rhea Ripley about to do the same? Tonight for Liv Morgan is a chance to prove that WrestleMania was not a fluke. Tonight for the champion, a chance to prove to the world that she is deserving of the championship gold that is around her waist. Out to prove her doubters wrong and prove her supporters correct, Liv Morgan fell short to Rhea Ripley back on January the 7th at the Royal Rumble. She turned it around and wrote a different story on WrestleMania Saturday. But tonight, here at Vengeance, will she be able to keep down the Eradicator once more, or will we once again be living in the era of the Nightmare? The WWE Women's Championship on the line, courtesy of Monday Night Raw, as we send things down to the ring for your official co-main event. Match introductions. Introducing the challenger from Adelaide, Australia, Rhea Ripley. And her opponent from Elmwood Park, New Jersey, the WWE Women's Champion, Liv.
Well, the t-shirt says it best, Liv Morgan Revenge Tour. That is what she has been on ever since Rhea Ripley stomped out her desires to reign atop the division back at the Royal Rumble. Some would say that tour was complete on WrestleMania Saturday two months ago. Rhea Ripley coming back for her vengeance, no pun intended. Liv Morgan realizing that this tour is far from over. It is your co-main event. The women's title is on the line. Liv Morgan, full head of steam at the Eradicator. Rhea Ripley has been making her presence felt even without the championship on Monday Night Raw. Ambushes to Cora Jade, Tiffany Stratton, Bianca Belair. Victories over Katana Chance. Rhea Ripley reminding everybody on Monday Night Raw just what she is capable of. The destruction that she holds in her hand. Liv Morgan with the chance tonight to shut down Rhea once and for all. And a spin kick might have just knocked out the Eradicator's hopes and dreams. And only a one count that time. Liv Morgan trying to set an early precedent in this matchup, not allowing Rhea Ripley to do what she normally does, which is dominate the squared circle. Rhea, the 2023 Women's Superstar of the Year, as voted by you, the fans was the Money in the Bank holder for two months and changed until she cast it in to win the WWE Women's title. Held it from September all the way to March. Defeating names like the man Becky Lynch, the rising star in Alba Fire, and several more all the way through that reign. Will she be able to kick off another here tonight? It has already been a successful night for the Judgment Day Clubhouse. With the help of Dirty Dominic Mysterio, Damian Priest and Finn Balor winning back the World Tag Team titles. Will Rhea Ripley have the same luck? Headbutt followed by a splash from the top. Liv Morgan tried to set a precedent, but Rhea Ripley trying to assert herself here at Vengeance. Nice counter by the champion that time. Liv's trying to find any window of opportunity, just as she did at WrestleMania. A costly misstep by Rhea back at the grandest stage. Liv Morgan was able to capitalize, lay her out with an oblivion, and get the three count. One of the many reasons why people believe that Liv Morgan had a fluke victory, at least some. Liv has turned away some doubters, has picked up victories in non-title matches on the red brand, and as we mentioned, successfully retaining her gold last month in San Juan, Puerto Rico. Rhea Ripley just a different animal to figure out. And Liv Morgan with the chance tonight to score probably the biggest victory of her career. Possibly a victory that would mean that much more than the one back at WrestleMania. Look at Rhea Ripley not even allowing a one count that time as Liv Morgan was getting fired up. Another rope she goes, the champion, nice hip toss, some gutsy strength being shown. Liv Morgan has proven to be resilient. That is why she is the champion today. Many would have crumbled in her position back at the Royal Rumble when Rhea Ripley had her most dominating performance as champion. Liv Morgan was able to survive and is currently thriving. Look at this, a little stratisfaction by the champion, taking a page out of the book of the Hall of Famer. Liv Morgan learning to think on her feet and evolve as the top dog on Monday Night Raw, but made one costly mistake. And that's underestimating Rhea Ripley's position that time. Tope Suicida. Moments after the Stratisfaction, and a satisfying landing was not to be found. Rhea Ripley sidestepping the champion and now instituting a beatdown outside of the ropes. Liv Morgan with a costly misstep similar to Rhea Ripley at WrestleMania, but will Rhea be able to reap the rewards? Face first at ringside. Rhea wrestling her style of match every time she gets in control, which is a beatdown style. Absolutely a demoralizing way of wrestling for her opponents as Liv Morgan able to get the shoulder up and the frustration starting to come out of the challenger tonight. 
just as Damian Priest and Finn Balor did. Rhea Ripley has tried to play her cards her way over the last several weeks, and it obviously worked out in her favor. She's got her championship match, the trilogy fight of 2024. Liv and Rhea locking horns. Rhea not looking to see this opportunity slip through her fingers. Championship matches don't come around every day, and although Rhea Ripley has been one of the top dogs and has certainly been successful, a loss here tonight would be a huge detriment to her title desires. Scaling the ropes, this is not good for the champion. Look at the strength of Rhea Ripley, suplex to the middle of the canvas. Liv Morgan down and out, and Rhea Ripley tying up her legs. This is not going to be good as Liv Morgan stranglehold by Rhea Ripley. Liv Morgan may be on the verge of tapping, dead center of the ring, nowhere near the ropes. She's got to either flip the weight and get Rhea Ripley off her tail, or we're going to have a new women's champion before our very eyes. How much is this taken out of Liv Morgan right now? Liv, there she goes. Able to turn out of it, Rhea Ripley losing control on the submission hold. Liv able to survive, but how much was just taken out of the lower half of Liv Morgan's offense? That is not gonna go well as this matchup progresses in the championship rounds, I'll tell you. Nonetheless, Liv Morgan has got Rhea Ripley on the rails, and to the outside she goes. Liv once again with her eyes locked. It was a costly misstep earlier, but Liv Morgan daring to dream tonight. Tope Suicida works out in her favor. What doesn't work once may work on the second attempt. Successful flight that time for the champion, as now Rhea Ripley looks all kinds of dazed, all kinds of confused. And the WWE Women's Champion may have found her window of opportunity. Liv scaling the ropes. Rhea Ripley slow to get to her feet. Beautiful cross body, great height. And into the lateral press. Oh man, not even a one count that time. And Liv Morgan looking a little bit concerned right there. Rhea Ripley not staying down even for a one after that several offense starting to stack. Nice drop kick to knock the Eradicator off her feet. Back into the corner we go. Whatever Liv Morgan's got in mind, she better hope it's a successful outing. Could be going for a little Frankensteiner. Oh no! The strength, the counter, the power bomb by Rhea Ripley! Liv Morgan might have just cost herself. A beautifully executed, well-timed counter by the Nightmare. Power bomb from the heavens. And now the champion is in trouble. Rhea Ripley right back on the offense, right back to doing what she does best, a dominating presence that she brings to the squared circle. And Rhea just looking to stomp out the heart of the woman who took away her gold two months ago at WrestleMania Saturday. Oh no, and now it's Rhea Ripley sailing through the skies of Bakersfield, California. This match has been turned on its head after that reversal by Rhea. And now on the outside, the beatdown commences. Liv Morgan is in trouble, and Rhea with a shot to what has got to be an already weakened leg after the submission hold a few minutes ago. Rhea had Liv tied up in a knot. I can only imagine how much it took out of the WWE Women's Champion. It was a costly misstep for Rhea Ripley at WrestleMania, where Liv Morgan was able to capitalize with an oblivion. Liv going to the top for that Frankensteiner may be her costly misstep. Oh no, Rhea, I don't know what the hell she's got in mind, but the champion is obviously looking worse for wear. Oh, wait a minute, she's going back for the submission. Rhea smells blood in the water. Liv Morgan's hurt, and Rhea Ripley knows it. Submission dead center of the ring. Nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. Liv Morgan taps out. Nothing you could do. You're risking further injury for the rest of your career if you stay in a devastating submission hold like that. Here is your 
your winner and the new WWE Women's Champion, Rhea Ripley. A heartbreaking loss for Liv Morgan, but nobody can deny that woman who stands in the middle of the ring on the precipice of history. Once rolling raw with an iron fist, history may be on the verge of repeating itself. The Judgment Day fell at WrestleMania, but Vengeance 2024, the night the Judgment Day rises again, Rhea Ripley is always on top. After no mercy is shown and a queen is crowned, the bad blood will boil over. Coming your way, live on Saturday night, October 19th, from the TD Garden in Boston, Massachusetts. Witness the unforgiving, high octane, and high stakes action as Raw, SmackDown, and No Nation Gaming channel memberships proudly present WWE Bad Blood. And this woman is looking for a little payback after that count out loss. The following contest is a triple threat match and is for the WWE Women's Championship. Introducing the challenger from Knoxville, Tennessee, Bobby Yonka. You know, two years ago at this time, Bianca Belair was the WWE Women's Champion, but she has spent quite some time trying to get back to the top of the mountain, whether it was over on Friday Night SmackDown or courtesy of Monday Night Raw. Bianca Belair has had her eyes locked on the WWE Women's title, and it just so happens Rhea Ripley is in Bianca's crosshairs. But obviously the odds stacked against not just the champion, but every woman in this matchup, as it is a triple threat where anything can happen. And introducing the challenger from Elmwood Park, New Jersey, Liv Morgan. You know, you gotta wonder what's going through the mind of Liv Morgan losing her WWE Women's title last month at Vengeance to Rhea Ripley, and her rematch coming in the ways of a triple threat. Bianca Belair had a one-on-one -on -one opportunity, but here's Liv Morgan having to fight not only the champion, but also another challenger. One thing we will say about Liv Morgan is that she has proven to be resilient throughout 2024, and it just so happens she finds herself in yet another case. I have made my feelings about the Judgment Day and their antics very clear. But one thing nobody can deny is the superstar-like presence of the Eradicator! And introducing the champion, representing the Judgment Day from Adelaide, South Australia. The WWE Women's Champion, Rhea Ripley. Dominic Mysterio, Finn Balor, and Damian Priest, the other three members of the Judgment Day, very well known to give each other an aid in their contest when need be. It's part of the reason why the Judgment Day are once again the World Tag Team Champions. But one thing we cannot take away from Rhea Ripley, Throwing her antics across Monday Night Raw over the last few weeks aside and the ambushes and the havoc that she has caused on her own right, she has always got the job done by herself. Rhea Ripley demands respect. You can like her, you can love her, you can hate her, but nobody can deny the results. And the results are the white and gold that she carries to the ring tonight. 
An ominous presence comes over every arena when Rhea Ripley enters the room. They don't call her the Nightmare just because it looks good on a t-shirt. Stomping out the hopes and desires of Liv Morgan last month in Bakersfield. But now Rhea defends the gold in an ideal, in an unideal situation. Bianca Belair and Liv Morgan looking to obtain that very gold. Rhea Ripley stuck between a rock and a hard place. Will she be able to get the job done here tonight? Well, it has been an awesome night here at Smoothie King Center in New Orleans, Louisiana. As the action rolls on, that is the gold that is on the line. Rhea Ripley, Bianca Belair, Liv Morgan. It is a triple threat matchup. No countouts, no disqualifications. First decision to a finish. Who will be the women's champion? The bell has sounded. We are underway. And Liv Morgan and Bianca Belair, shockingly, going right after one another. Well, you saw in the highlight package, and you witnessed it if you've been tuning in to Monday Night Raw. Liv Morgan and Bianca Belair have been very friendly over the last few weeks. A mutual respect between those two women, regardless of how Liv may feel about Bianca being involved in this title matchup tonight. They've turned away challenges from Chelsea Green, Sonya Deville, Piper Niven, Tiffany Stratton amidst numerous tag team matches. And as we've been talking about over the last few weeks, it is every woman for herself. And it's certainly any woman's ball game here tonight. Rhea Ripley may be able to get the job done time and time again by herself in singles competition. A completely different strategy, however, must be implored on nights like tonight. And nights where Rhea Ripley doesn't even have to be pinned or submitted to lose her women's title. Bianca Belair, I'm sure, would take a lot of satisfactory in defeating Rhea Ripley. The Rhea really spoiled her homecoming in Knoxville, Tennessee last month on Raw. Bianca Belair challenged Rhea one-on-one -on -one for the Women's Championship, and Rhea was really taking Bianca kind of lightly throughout the matchup until Bianca hit a KOD, and that's where the Nightmare flipped the switch, and we saw Rhea Ripley deliver that rip tie at ringside to retain her title via count out on that night. Liv Morgan, on the other hand, felt that she was embarrassed back at Vengeance, put up one hell of a fight, really nothing to be ashamed of in defeat. It's Liv beating up herself, in a sense, after she was tapped out by Rhea Ripley last month in Bakersfield. Nonetheless, of how we got here, the goal very loud and proud here tonight as Liv Morgan going underneath the ring, instituting a steel chair as Bianca Belair trying to go for a splash on Rhea, and Liv Morgan never been afraid to take things to the extreme. Hey, Liv Morgan's playing within the rules tonight. Anything goes in a triple threat matchup, and Liv Morgan realizing that she may have a, a little bit of a crutch, if you will, but not if Rhea Ripley has got anything to say about it. Liv using the rules to her advantage. Now all three women on the outside. Again, no count outs in this matchup. The decision has to take place between the ropes. This is not the same rules as your bourbon street fight earlier tonight, but I think at this point, everybody knows the rules of a triple threat matchup and what needs to go down to determine who is leaving Smoothie King Center as the women's champion of the WWE. It's already been a great night for the women of Monday Night Raw and Friday Night SmackDown. The announcement of Queen of the Ring at the end of the summer. Saturday night, September the 21st in New York City. Raquel Rodriguez retaining her Women's World Championship against Io Sky in a great contest moments ago. And now these three Monday Night Raw All-Stars taking center stage. Bianca Belair trying to get her hands dirty in this matchup as all three women continue to jock for position. Triple threat matches so hard as we are witnessing right now. Trying to sustain momentum. Don't you think you got it in your grasp? Somebody comes up from behind, sneak attacks you, clubs you in the back, and right away you are in a position that Bianca Belair almost was in, which was losing this matchup. But there's Bianca, and it will cover on Rhea, and Rhea powers, her, powers herself out, excuse me. Now the champion. Down and out, and it might not be a bad idea in this matchup for Liv and Bianca to team up on an oh-so-dominant champion, but quite frankly, 
I think both of these women realizing that they're, they're going to have to do anything they need to do to try to leave New Orleans tonight as the champion, even if that means going through each other. Bianca Belair trying to muscle up Rhea Ripley. Rhea having none of it. Now Rhea going behind. Face first goes the EST. And Rhea into the cover to retain her title. And Liv Morgan was about to break things up, but Bianca Belair gets the shoulder off the canvas. Also got to keep in mind the X Factor that Liv Morgan may not be coming in 100% tonight. Maybe one of the reasons she is so eager to use those steel chairs. Clubbed in the back of the head with the WWE Women's title two weeks ago. Competed in the midst of an eight-woman tag team matchup this past Monday on Raw. And just as Raw was about to go off the air, cameras cut to the top of the stage where Rhea Ripley was beaten down on Liv Morgan and laid her out with a ripped title to steal great. Oof. Bianca Belair trying to be the aggressor. But the champion in her sights lays her out on the ropes and Liv Morgan with an oblivion variation. Rhea trying to shake the cobwebs off, realizing that Liv almost stole the championship that time. Liv Morgan and Rhea Ripley have had a trilogy of matches throughout 2024. First the Royal Rumble in January, WrestleMania in March, and Vengeance last month in May. Now their roads lead to this triple threat matchup tonight. Bianca Belair looking to play the X Factor. You always got to keep in mind the fact that Liv and Rhea, with all of their history, may be a little bit too focused on destroying one another, and it may be an opportunity for Bianca to capitalize. Just as she did right there, trying to lay out Rhea on the chair, but there's Liv Morgan not allowing but Bianca to take advantage. Again, so hard to get sustained momentum in a triple threat matchup. You gotta have eyes in the back of your head. Easier said than done. As these women are falling all over those steel chairs that have been implored throughout this contest. Bianca doing her damnedest to rule the ring. Some incredible strength being shown on the Judgment Day's nightmare. Rhea down. Bianca goes behind on Liv Morgan. Liv coming, crashing down. Bianca's got an opportunity here to win the WWE Women's title. But Liv Morgan gets the shoulder up. Oh, holy hell. Rhea Ripley just turned off the lights of Bianca Belair. Big boot into the corner. Oh, and one for Liv Morgan. Make it a dose. Man, Rhea Ripley was infuriated, wreaking havoc on Monday Night Raw when Liv Morgan upset her back at WrestleMania. Imagine what Rhea's gonna be like if she's not even pinned to lose her title tonight. Could be the worst nightmare, literally, for the Monday Night Raw Women's Division. Bianca Belair and Liv Morgan, two very viable challengers here tonight. And Bianca Belair dishing the steel chair fight right back to the woman who brought him to the dance. Rhea Ripley just taking a moment of R&R &R on the outside. Meanwhile, Bianca Belair, KOD to Liv Morgan. Oh, Bianca not watching her back. Rhea Ripley right there, trying to take credit for the destruction. Bianca laying out Rhea, laying out Liv. Once again going behind, Liv Morgan on the receiving end of not one but two KODs. But once again, literally not having eyes in the back of your head, Bianca's worst detriment in this matchup. Now wait a minute, Bianca sent to the outside by Rhea. Rhea's got her eyes locked on Liv Morgan. This could be all she wrote. Rip tied to Liv Morgan into the cover. But Liv Morgan somehow, some way, resilient as all hell, able to get the shoulder off. You could say whatever you want about Liv Morgan falling short to defeat Rhea Ripley in their trilogy fight last month, but nobody can deny the gutsy performance that Liv Morgan continues to bring to the table. Bianca Belair. Gut wrench.
Edge into a powerbomb. Rhea thought she had this matchup won. Eradicated Bianca Belair from the squared circle, focused in on Liv, but underestimated Liv Morgan's resilience. And now it's Bianca Belair looking to pick the scraps. Liv Morgan has got to be feeling worse for wear after being on the receiving end of both of these strong women's finishing maneuvers. Bianca going up top and face first. Might have hit the turnbuckles on the way down. Rhea into the cover. And not even getting the one count that time. Liv Morgan hustling up. Oof. Does Liv Morgan have a chance now to win this triple threat matchup? Some close calls for Rhea and Bianca. Is it Liv Morgan's time? Imagine if Liv spoils the championship reign of Rhea Ripley once again. Bianca bringing in another steel chair as if we need it. Those other two are all kinds of banged up. Now Liv off the middle, buckle with a bulldog. And Rhea Ripley from behind. I'll tell you what, the Raw Women's Division has been on fire. Bailey making a return in recent weeks. The, oh, wait a minute, hold that thought. Oblivion by Liv. But once again, these women not watching their awareness. Bianca Belair breaking things off. Liv laying out Rhea, might have had this match won. Bianca Belair cutting Liv in half with a spear. And Bianca trying to focus in on Rhea. Liv Morgan to her feet momentarily as fatigue has got to be setting in in what has been a test of endurance from these three women. Liv going for the cover. Rhea Ripley playing a non-factor and she almost won the title. Another close call. I'm trying to talk about how the Raw Women's Division very much been heating up. Bailey making a return. The emergence of likes of Cora Jade and Tiffany Stratton over the last few months. But these three women have taken center stage and they're doing so again here tonight. Liv Morgan taken to the outside. Bianca Belair off the reversal. Who has got enough left in the tank? to persevere over two other opponents. Rhea Ripley taking care of Bianca, and Liv Morgan just chucking a chair at the back of Rhea and goes into the cover. The best strategy Liv has at the current moment is just to try to hustle up and take out the champion. Unfortunately for her, the Eradicator is just a different breed. Liv trying to turn this matchup into a one-on-one -on -one momentarily, but Bianca back inside the ring with Rhea on her shoulders. That's got to feel good for the EST, a KOD. Liv Morgan obviously not allowing a three count that time. Rhea Ripley is worse for wear. Whoever is the last woman standing between Bianca and Liv right now may end up capitalizing. Liv taken to the outside. Bianca Belair with her eyes locked on Rhea once more. Rhea with a counter. Rhea with Bianca in her grass. Here we go. Rip tied. Rhea into the cover. But Bianca Belair survives. This is why Rhea resulted to a count out victory a number of weeks ago. But Rhea cannot be reliant on that tonight. Needs to get the finish between the ropes as she once again sends Liv Morgan to the outside. Rhea Ripley, now the one, trying to hustle up a second rip tie. Is that gonna be all she wrote? It is. Bianca Belair and Liv Morgan have been on the top of their game to the best of their abilities week in and week out on Raw, but Rhea Ripley dividing and conquering here tonight. Here is your winner, still the WWE Women's Champion, Rhea Ripley. Stuck between a rock and a hard place, Rhea Ripley showing us why we are living in the era of the Eradicator. Liker, lover, or hater, still on top of the world, the Nightmare Rhea Ripley retains the WWE Women's Championship.
Here in Washington, D.C., and it is the last woman standing contest for the WWE Women's Championship as the Nightmare Rhea Ripley defends the gold against Liv Morgan. Dare I say, this has been the story of 2024, kicking off back at the Royal Rumble in January when Liv Morgan, on record saying her most embarrassing loss in her career as she was physically dominated by the Eradicator on that night. Liv Morgan could have tucked her tail between her legs and never to be seen again, but she came back, dusted herself off, earned number one contendership, and challenged Rhea Ripley once more for the WWE Women's title back at WrestleMania. Liv Morgan finding a way to keep down Rhea to become the women's champion. As for Rhea Ripley, after taking a few weeks off, she emerged on Monday Night Raw and started wreaking havoc to every woman in the locker room until she was guaranteed a shot to win back her gold. Liv Morgan obviously the target of the nightmare, and all roads led to vengeance back in the month of May, where we saw the trilogy fight between these two women. Rhea Ripley came in a very dangerous and motivated number one contender. Liv Morgan was out to prove that her win over Rhea at WrestleMania was not a fluke. And although Liv Morgan went down in a blades of glory, she went down nonetheless. Rhea Ripley kicking off yet another reign, bringing back the women's title to the clubhouse of the Judgment Day. Liv Morgan has been waiting to get her chance at the championship all over again. Of course, with Bianca Belair thrown in the mix, Rhea Ripley retaining her title in a triple threat back at the King of the Ring. Rhea Ripley has continued to lay out Liv Morgan, knowing Liv has been in pursuit of her title time and time again, whether it's been shots with the championship over the dome, the rip tied at the top of the stage on the steel grate. Rhea has left Liv laying, and it has all led to this last woman standing match tonight. Who's gonna be on the soles of their boots and on top of the division as the WWE Women's Champion? The following contest is a last woman standing match and is for the WWE Women's Championship. It is certainly a big fight feel here at the Great American Bash. And here comes your challenger, a former WWE Women's Champion in her own right, who has been intertwined with Rhea Ripley all year long. Liv Morgan has a chance tonight to prove that WrestleMania was not a fluke and to prove once and for all that she is better than Rhea Ripley, all the while possibly leaving Washington, D.C. as your new WWE Women's Champion. Well, what we can confirm, ladies and gentlemen, is that the winner of this matchup will defend the gold a week from Saturday in London, England against the woman who has been on the rise over the last number of weeks, that being Bailey. Liv and Bailey teaming up last week to take on Alba Fire and Isla Dawn. Bailey waits in the win for, at Money in the Bank for whoever is your women's champion of Monday Night Raw. But that is then, this is now, and approaching the ring. Lover, liker, hater, regardless of how you feel, nobody can deny the results of the Nightmare, the Eradicator, and your WWE Women's Champion, Rhea Bloody Ripley. Rhea knows all about this time of year. It was last year that she captured the Women's Money in the Bank briefcase, 
cashed it in on September the 16th at SmackDown's No Mercy event, defeating Shayna Baszler to kick off a 169-day title reign as your women's champion. That is the same title reign that Liv Morgan burned to the ground back on March the 2nd on WrestleMania Saturday. And we saw the havoc that Rhea Ripley implored upon the division until she got back what matters most to her, and that is the championship that she flaunts on her way to the squared circle here in the Capital One Arena. It has been a long storied rivalry between Rhea and Liv, and one thing to note is all the attacks by Rhea Ripley, whether it was leading up to Vengeance, leading up to King of the Ring, or now this last woman standing match tonight, does Rhea Ripley realize that Liv Morgan has what it takes to defeat her and become the champion? Is Rhea feeling nervous in a high stakes, high reward, Monday Night Raw main event? Introducing the challenger from Elmwood Park, New Jersey. We want to thank you for joining us all throughout tonight. Again, this is only night one of the Great American Bash. Night two coming your way courtesy of SmackDown. Live in Philadelphia at 5 p.m. Eastern time this Friday night. But the lights are all bright here in the Capital One Arena in Washington, D.C. The week of Independence Day here in our nation's capital. Liv Morgan, Rhea Ripley takes center stage for the fourth time in 2024. The bell has sounded and your main event is underway. Last woman standing rules. No count outs, no disqualifications. The first woman to incapacitate their opponent to the point where they cannot answer. The referee's count of 10 will be the winner and will leave Washington DC as your women's champion. These two women know each other extremely well at this point. Royal Rumble. WrestleMania, Vengeance, the triple threat at King of the Ring, now one-on-one -on -one for the fourth time this year with no rules or restrictions and no pinfalls or submissions needed. Just a bloody war to a bitter end. Liv Morgan with so much to prove and everything to gain tonight. Rhea Ripley just looking to keep her stranglehold on the women's division. Rhea Ripley voted by you, the fans, the 2023 Women's Superstar of the Year, and for good reason. Women's Champion, Money in the Bank holder last year. Success that has bled into 2024. On behalf of the Judgment Day, Rhea Ripley has continued to be dangerous. But Liv Morgan looking to take things to the extreme, not if Rhea has anything to say. Liv getting that kendo stick. Anything goes in this contest. Rhea Ripley obviously looking to avoid disaster. That kendo stick can certainly be an equalizer for the strength and size that Rhea Ripley outweighs Liv Morgan with. But it's just going to be that much more of a devastating weapon in the hands of the Eradicator. Oh, almost went into the WWE Universe. And Liv Morgan is in for a fight tonight. Rhea Ripley already a tall task in a normal wrestling matchup. Now take the handcuffs off and leave us in a last woman standing affair. What the hell does Rhea Ripley have in mind tonight? Getting the table from underneath the squared circle. All is fair in love and war. Liv Morgan not trying to be overzealous, but might have hesitated too long. Rhea Ripley taking her down into the steel steps. Liv Morgan has had to come in tonight with an A plan, a B plan, a C plan, all the way to Z. To try to keep down Rhea Ripley. As the fight now spills into the WWE Universe, we are live here in Washington, D.C. in the Capital One Arena. And this fight can go anywhere, from this building all the way to the White House. The referee's only got to follow the action and count for a 10. 
For this match, to hear a bell and to determine who is leaving the Great American Bash as the WWE Women's Champion. I am sure this capacity audience getting their money's worth up close and personal with two of the hottest stars in the WWE today. Oh, got to give credit to Liv Morgan. All throughout 2024, she has continued to hang in there in victory and defeat. Even when she has gotten knocked down, she has gotten back up, brushed herself off, and continued to be a nuisance in Rhea Ripley's career. Rhea Ripley looking to finally eradicate and a purposeful purposeful play on words there as she looks to take care of her Liv Morgan problem tonight. But just as Liv has done throughout 2024, Liv is hanging in and continuing to fight with Rhea Ripley in these early moments of this last woman standing match tonight. Couple of closed fists, couple of uppercuts, couple of forearms, whatever it takes to try to knock each other out, they might not need the squared circle and the weapons that may lie underneath of it. This may just come down to a boxing match. See who the last woman standing is that way. Hey, you get a knockout blow, you'll certainly leave your opponent down for a count of 10. Liv Morgan trying to not let Rhea Ripley dictate this matchup. Rhea's strength and size may overpower. Or the underdog instincts that ever say die attitude of Liv Morgan. Outweigh Rhea Ripley tonight. Back and forth as Washington DC continues to come unglued and Liv Morgan down momentarily. Asia Smith going for the count. Well, but Rhea Ripley realizing that it's gonna take a lot more to keep Liv Morgan down and just trying to get ahead of the curve. That is all it takes. That referee counting to Numeral 10. For us to hear a bell for a women's champion to be decided. Continuing with this brawl. A full on bar fight in the middle of Capital One Arena. They might as well go up to the bar in the concourse at this point. Just start swinging. Rhea Ripley backing up, trying to get away from Liv Morgan. I think she's had enough of the chaos in the midst of the WWE Universe. Liv Morgan creating a little distance. Rhea Ripley down momentarily. I don't think it takes a genius to figure out that it's going to take a hell of a lot more to keep down Rhea Ripley. Multiple time women's champion, but her most successful reign coming last year and into this year, 169 days. I'm sure Rhea is looking to top that this time around. Referee's at a count of six, but if Liv gets up, she's going to be having a ladder waiting in the wind, or not just yet. Oblivion out of nowhere. Rhea Ripley trapped underneath the ladder momentarily. Liv Morgan upping the ante. Count of seven. Rhea's in trouble. It's starting to get to her feet. Man, Liv Morgan saw that ladder coming her way and she struck and damn near hit a home run. Oblivion out of nowhere. And Rhea Ripley might have gotten up at a what cost. Damage certainly done to the Eradicator. Wanted to use that ladder, did not get her away, at least momentarily. And that time, Liv Morgan sent right to the rugs. Money in the bank ain't till next Saturday, but Rhea Ripley looking to climb those rugs for one reason or another here tonight in Washington, D.C. Setting up that damn near 15-foot high ladder at ringside. So whatever Rhea Ripley's got in mind can certainly, Jesus, not be good for tonight's challenger. As we mentioned, ladies and gentlemen, Bailey waiting in the wind for whoever wins this matchup. She will challenge the winner a week from Saturday at Money in the Bank for the WWE Women's title. Whether that be the current champion Rhea Ripley or the woman who could leave the brand new champion, a friend of Bailey's in Liv Morgan. Out of five, Asia Smith continues to count as Rhea Ripley is looking to rearrange some hardware. Rhea Ripley is just trying to stay one step ahead. 
as Liv Morgan taken down off the boot momentarily. Rhea's got a ladder. She's got a table. And whatever's going through the minds of Rhea Ripley, gotta imagine is hardwired for self-destruct of Liv Morgan. Referees at a count of eight. Rhea may not need the weaponry she implored. Live to her feet, and no, momentarily as she just gets ragdolled across the table. Liv Morgan's body sent lifeless over top of the wood. I don't think Asia Smith needs to start counting right now. Rhea Ripley is looking to put an exclamation point on Liv Morgan once and for all in 2024. No matter the result, this will go down as a great rivalry of this year. Rhea Ripley scaling the ladder. Liv Morgan, look out. She's in the drop zone through the table. Rhea Ripley putting her own body in harm's way to try to seek and destroy her challenger tonight. Liv Morgan, the ever-living thorn in the side of the nightmare. But somehow, some way, scrapes her body to her feet after being crushed through the table. But Liv sidesteps Rhea Ripley. It's looking like a car wreck in the aisleway. But Liv Morgan realizing it is now or never code breaker. Live today or die trying. There may not be another opportunity for Liv Morgan to close this chapter of her career with Rhea Ripley on a high note. Rhea to her feet and she's walking up the aisleway. Rhea may have enough of this match. She should be, could be trying to blow it off CM Punk style. I don't think Liv Morgan is gonna allow Rhea to play those games. A second oblivion on the LED ramp. Washington DC coming unglued as Rhea Ripley is looking lifeless in the aisle way. Rhea trying to get to her feet as her championship may have just flashed before her eyes. Rhea realizing she has got to put the final nail in the coffin of Liv Morgan. And back to the carnage that awaits. Rhea, Liv, both dragging their bodies that have got to be feeling the fatigue of this last woman standing contest. And now Rhea set down at ringside momentarily. With every ounce of energy that's left and every desire to be the woman, here in WWE as the champion on Monday Night Raw. Trying to let adrenaline fuel them. Feel the fatigue and the pain of this matchup tomorrow. Live in the moment and win the championship. Once again, the Rhea Ripley, or excuse me, the referee looking to count Rhea Ripley out. Rhea trying to just stay on her soles of her boots. Liv Morgan has got to find somehow, some way, something big to keep down Rhea Ripley. Rhea throwing Liv right to the barricade, and wait a minute here, Rhea Ripley deconstructing the announce table here at ringside. Asia Smith counting, Rhea Ripley's gonna wave it off. Rhea wants to end this matchup on her own note. Liv Morgan's got to fight back. It's now or never. As Rhea Ripley is looking to have her way with the woman who has been a thorn in her side throughout 2024. Liv Morgan, this is not going to be good for her. Rip tied through the announce table. And the count begins as Rhea Ripley stands over the lifeless body of Liv Morgan. Liv to fight another day. Rhea Ripley, the last woman standing. 
a brawl from pillar to post with both women throwing their best shots but Rhea Ripley causes the destruction and lives to tell the tale And we can now confirm that Rhea Ripley will make the trip across the pond to defend that championship against Bailey at Money in the Bank a week from Saturday. But the story here at the Great American Bash edition of Monday Night Raw is that after a tumultuous rivalry in 2024, Rhea Ripley eradicates Liv Morgan, still your women's champion. The nightmare is always on top.